So what is cyanacrylate? Cyanacrylate is made from the esters of the cyano acrylic acid. So that's where the name comes from. And I'll explain to you the differences between the different distillation levels. So imagine you have a hundred kilos of um, cyanoacrylic acid. Let's say this is a hundred kilos. You start the distillation process and then out of the hundred kilos of the acids, you get a lot of the, in, in, a lot of the industrial grade cyanoacrylates. So let's just say this much of industrial. So this is the industrial grade cyanoacrylates. Then the next level of distillation gives you cosmetic grade cyanoacrylates. So this is the level of distillation or the purity of cyanoacrylate that's used in most lash glues. The next level or the next purity level after cosmetic grade is food grade. So you can see that you actually get a lot less of that purity than the cosmetic grade. And now the last level of the most pure cyanacrylate that you can get is medical grade. Out of 100 kilos of the cyanoacrylic acids, you get about only one kilo of the medical grade cyanacrylate. And guys, this is super, super important because obviously the higher the purity or the better the purity, the less of the nasty side effects like fumes the glue has. But this also bumps up the price of the glue because you can imagine how much effort, time and money goes into manufacturing just one kilo of medical grade cyanacrylate compared to the cosmetic grade. So why are we talking about the level of distillation is because guys this determines the characteristics of the glue whether it has a lot of vapors or barely noticeable vapors. It doesn't matter which type of cyanoacrylate you use, whether you use ethyl, butyl, alkoxy cyanoacrylate, it doesn't matter, it's the distillation level or the purity that determines how much vapors the glue has. And why are the vapors so important? They're so important because the vapors are the most irritating parts of cyanoacrylate. The vapors are the reason why your client's eyes can water or why you might feel a stuffy nose after the treatment. It's because of the vapors of the glue. So it's super, super important to use a glue that has minimal vapors to prevent any reactions in the short term, but also in the long term. Because most allergies, they don't happen overnight. It's actually the elongated um, contact with the allergen that triggers a reaction. So if you use a lash glue that has a lot of vapors, it's a lot more likely that your customers develop sensitivity or even an allergic reaction to the glue rather than using a glue that has minimal vapors, such as a medical grade glue.